Hello and welcome to the session on time and work. This is brought to you by Handa Kafanda. What we need to understand in time and work especially is suppose A does some amount of work in A hours, B does the same amount of work in B hours, then together how much time will they take? Together the time that they are going to take is AB by A plus B hours. Let us see how. What is the amount of work that A does in one hour? In one hour, A will finish 1 by a of the work and B will finish 1 by B of the work. If both of them are working together, then they will finish 1 by A plus 1 by B of the work. And how much is that? That is A plus B by A B portion of the work. So, if let's say two people are working together and they finish one-fifth of the work in one hour, then how much time will they take? They will take five hours. If they finish three by seventh of the work, how much time will they take? They will take seven by three hours. If they finish A plus B by A B -th portion of the work, then how much time will they take? They will take A B by A plus B hours. Let us take a slightly different case now. Suppose A does some amount of work in A hours more than A and B combined and B does the same amount of work in B hours more than A and B combined. Then A and B combined will take how much time? They will take root A B hours. Let us take a case where A takes A hours more than A and B combined and B takes B hours more than A and B combined. Then A and B combined will take how much time? Suppose we take that as X. That means effectively A takes X plus A hours and B takes X plus B hours. How do I combine two values? I take their product. AB by A plus B. As we just discussed, that is how we combine the time taken by two people. And A and B combined, I have assumed that they take X hours. Solve for X. What will I get? In the numerator, it will be x square plus ax plus bx plus ab. Whereas, if this goes to the other side, this will become x square plus ax plus x square plus bx. What does that mean? x square x square cancels, ax ax cancels, bx bx cancels. I am left with x square is equal to ab or x is equal to square root of ab, which tells me that if A takes A hours more than A and B combined and B takes B hours more than A and B combined then together they will take square root of A B hours. To understand the concept of negative work we need to understand what is our target. For example, suppose there is a tank and A takes 2 hours to fill the tank, B takes 3 hours to fill the tank and C takes 4 hours to empty the tank. Then which one of the pipes a, B and C is doing positive work and which one is doing negative work. For that, what we need to know is what is our target. Whether our target is to fill the tank or our target is to empty the tank. If our target is to fill the tank, then A and B are doing positive work and C is doing negative work. How much time will they take combined together to fill the tank? A. For that, we need to do an analysis on a per hour basis. What happens in one hour? A will fill half, B will fill one third and C will empty one fourth. Please look at it carefully. Since A is filling, we want to fill the tank, this is positive. B is filling, we want to fill the tank, B is positive. C is emptying and we want to fill the tank. That is opposite of it. That is why it is negative. So what is the total work done in one hour? LCM 12, 6 plus 4 minus 3 or they will fill 7 by 12 of the tank in one hour. That means if all three of them are working together, they will take 12 by 7 hours to fill the tank completely. Sometimes we are not given the time taken to do a job directly. However, data is provided to us in a slightly different format. For example, in this case, it is given to me that A takes 12 hours to fill a tank. B is 20% bigger than A. As a pipe, it is 20% bigger than A. Then the first thing that I need to do is to figure out how much time will B take. If B is 20% bigger than A, that means it is 1 by 5 bigger than A. 
which means it is 6 by 5 times in size of A. If the size has become 6 by 5 times, then the time taken, which is inversely proportional to it, will become 5 by 6 of the original, which means we will take 5 by 6 of 12 or 10 hours to fill the tank. C is 25% bigger than B, which means it is 1 fourth bigger than B in size, which means it is 5 by 4 times the size of B. So how much time will it take? If the size is 5 by 4, time taken would be 4 by 5. I know I have just calculated B takes 10 hours. So C will take 4 by 5 of 10 or 8 hours to fill the tank. Together they will take how much time? Then once again, we need to calculate it on a 1 hour basis. A will fill 1 by 12 in 1 hour. B will fill 1 by 10 in 1 hour. And C will fill 1 by 8 in 1 hour. We need to add all of these. That would be 120 as the LCM. This is 10, this is 12 and this is 15. Which means in one hour together they will fill 37 by 120 of the tank. And the time taken by all three of them working together to fill the tank will be 120 by 37 hours. That wraps up our session on time and work. Please stay tuned at Handa Kafanda to watch other videos on other chapters. Thank you.